Uh, so we got 2008 uh, GMC 3500 HD, and the customer's concern is no trailer brakes. So this one sort of threw me on a wild goose chase. Uh, tried to do uh, scan it. Obviously, this is my first step. See what kind of fault codes are in the system. It had nothing related to trailer brakes. So it's like, okay, well, sort of do a little bit of a uh, research on how this system works just like most systems you've got uh, this panel here which you can adjust your gain and then there's also a manual lever to apply or release uh, trailer brake control so on the plug in the back the two bottom pins one is ground and the other one is your power output that goes to your trailer which applies the brakes more or less depending on how much brake pressure you have. Um, now, I use Pro Demand, and they sort of, they give you a, a, a bit of a description on how things work, but uh, not good enough. So I had to sort of figure things out myself. I was looking at uh, data PIDs on the scan tool, and I noticed that I had no brake pressure. So I went to the pressure sensor that's in the engine compartment on the side of the master cylinder. So it's right here. And take this connector off. And it's got three wires in it. So this is just a, a potentiometer. It's a variable resistor, basically. Um, so you've got a five volt reference and you've got a ground and then a signal wire. So the more pressure that's applied in here, the more the signal changes from near zero to full pressure would be near five volts. And um, so what I did was just go through the basics, found out I have no five volt reference going to that sensor. So I have no signal going to my ABS module. So I found out that those wires go to the ABS module. And then from the ABS module, it takes that information and sends it through uh, data lines as a signal, as a message to the trailer brake control module. And then the trailer brake control module uses that information to determine, okay, the, the person's applying the brakes at this much pressure, we need to apply the brakes to the trailer this much pressure so that the truck and the trailer brake equally. Um, so basically the issue that I'm having now is there's no five volt reference being supplied to my brake pressure switch, um, or I guess uh, sensor, if you will. So that uh, is supplied by the five volt regulator that's internal to the ABS module. So I'm basically at the point now where I'm gonna throw an ABS module at this thing. <laughs> I checked powers and grounds. I went through all the steps to make sure that, um, that the ABS module is uh, working as far as it should be working. Um, checked all the fuses obviously, but yeah, it was just strange that it, it hasn't set any fault codes for that. So sort of a red flag for me. Um, this thing's had some work done on it as far as software and stuff goes. So I don't know if that's something that comes into play on this thing or not, but definitely a bit of a wild goose chase. Couldn't figure out, uh, didn't really have a lot of information to go off of on system operation as far as the technical details of things. I understood like obviously it gives you an explanation of you turn the gain up and it makes the trailer brake supply more right like basic stuff that you already know but as far as technical stuff measurements of what things should be and what they're not supposed to be you don't get any of that so just thought uh, I'd share that with you guys I know I was reading in a lot of forums today guys are having the exact same issue as this where you could 
stick a test light onto the uh, trailer brake output and you could manually use the lever inside the truck and the light would come on as it's supposed to but when you use the brake pedal you get nothing so um, so if you want to check this 5 volt reference coming from the ABS module just unplug that connector it's this gray wire here so um, I don't usually recommend front probing but uh, I just have a small back probe that I've stuck in there not hurting nothing um, and then yeah grab yourself a multimeter voltage right to uh, ground and the key has to be on so anytime the key's on you're gonna have 5 volt reference whether the truck's running or just keys on an accessory your uh, reference voltages should be good so as you can see we got nothing um, now uh, I did go down underneath of the truck and uh, unplugged the connector as well and load tested the wires. On the ABS module? Yeah, on the ABS module. So just because I'm like, well, maybe there's a break in the wire, right? But no, not in this case. So I know that inside of that module, there is a voltage regulator and it's probably just toast. At the ABS module, you're looking for pin 17. It's a gray wire. 